This is probably the first moment in history that we know of a ruler thinking about how he's going to manage a multicultural state. The object behind me is known as the Cyrus Cylinder and it's made of baked clay and it was buried at the foundation of a building in Babylon about 2,600 years ago, in fact in 539 BC. And what it is, is a declaration by the king of Persia, Cyrus, who has just conquered Babylon. And he's telling us what he's going to do. Babylon in 539 is ruled by Belshazzar. Um, and Belshazzar, Nebuchadnezzar, the kings of Babylon, are the kings who had sacked Jerusalem, brought the Jews to Babylon, imprisoned them, brought all kinds of other people to Babylon and imprisoned them. And Cyrus, the king of Persia, is going to set the people free. What he's going to do is allow people to go home and resume their religious life. Different religions, different people in different places. The Persian Empire is the first empire to have to run in different languages and to accommodate different faiths. So it's always been a point of reference. Cyrus has always been a point of reference to people wondering how you rule a society with different religions, different traditions, without people fighting. So it's very important to us today because all our big cities have people of different religions, different languages. But he's particularly important to the United States because in the 18th century, when the Founding Fathers are thinking, how will we make a country where different faiths are all respected, but there's no state religion, they look to Cyrus. And Thomas Jefferson studies Cyrus. He tells his grandson to study Cyrus. And the US Constitution is in some ways the direct descendant of this cylinder. I hope that the visitor will, looking at this object, will understand that for any Iranian, this is part of their great history. Just as any Italian knows he's the heir of the Roman Empire, every Iranian knows they are the heir of Cyrus and that great tolerant empire that shaped the Middle East two and a half thousand years ago. And that the ideas and the ideals of the Persian Empire are very close to the ideals and ideas of the modern United States.